Hva er det dere står til? Det er Katrin, det er greit å ha deg her i netto. Og jeg står som en stor supporter av Alliance. Og du er en founding member, og du spiller en viktig rolle for Alliance i mange forskjellige måter. Du har en strategisk lokasjon, du har en veldig sterk kommitment til våre kjære verdier, men også ved å hjelpe til å binde Nord-Amerika og Europa sammen. All that is important for uh, us, and uh, uh, it is uh, especially important now when we have uh, the most critical moment for uh, European security in decades, mm -hmm. that we make sure that uh, Europe and North America stand together, and we are grateful for the contributions you are making to our shared security, both when it comes to uh, providing support to Ukraine, uh, but also implementing sanctions, and also closing the Icelandic uh, airspace. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, I look forward to our meeting and uh, uh, I really highly value all the contributions you are making to uh, the transatlantic alliance and NATO. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Jens, and thank you for receiving us so late because we are quite late because of the weather in Iceland. Yeah. So sorry about yeah. that. Um, but it was very important that we have this meeting because the situation, as you so well described, mm. is very different from what it was just a week ago. Mm. Um, the Icelandic government has condemned this invasion in Ukraine in the strongest possible terms. And actually the Icelandic parliament is uh, in complete unity mm. in that condemnation. condemnation. Mm. So, what we have been doing, we actually doubled our humanitarian support today. Mm. And as you said, we have been aligned with EU and NATO in sanctions mm. and other uh, and other things that we can do to show our support with the Ukrainian people. Because first and foremost, it is the civilians, yeah. the men, women and children who suffer yeah. when we see a military aggression of this kind. Okay. We have Thank you. Questions. Then you can. Yeah. But I think then we can turn off. Uh, okay. No, 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 oh, we continue. No. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Please, you take a question. Yes, no. Secretary. Yeah. This. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Secretary General, thank you so much for having us here. My name is Olaf Ragnarsdóttir from the National Broadcasting Service of Iceland. Yeah. Um, what? Why do you think Iceland is important for NATO? Iceland is important for NATO for many reasons. Uh, the strategic location in the Atlantic is important because it actually is a vital uh, um, bridge uh, between uh, North America and Europe. Uh, it helps us with maritime patrol activities in the North Atlantic, extremely important for the whole alliance. Uh, we uh, have NATO planes keeping the skies over uh, Iceland and the North Atlantic safe, uh, based in, uh, in Iceland. Uh, and then we also, of course, I appreciate very much what uh, Iceland does when it comes to some very important issues for our alliance. Uh, human security, the link uh, and the relationship between climate change and security. And of course also what Iceland is doing now in response to the horrendous, uh, brutal invasion uh, uh, by Russia on uh, independence of the nation uh, Ukraine. And then Iceland has uh, played its part um, uh, implementing uh, sanctions, uh, closing the airspace, uh, and also uh, providing uh, support to Ukraine, humanitarian support, financial support, supplies, all of that is of great importance. And then I also uh, clearly state that um, the very strong political message for Iceland is, is demonstrating the unity of the whole alliance in condemning the uh, uh, invasion and the brutal attack uh, on uh, Ukraine. I think it's safe to say that uh, NATO is more united than ever. What do you think it says about the alliance that we need an invasion for another country to, you know, make the alliance so united? Well, NATO is an alliance of 30 different nations from both sides of the Atlantic with different his history, different geography, and of course there are uh, uh, sometimes differences, but uh, that's also a, a strength because uh, despite the differences, we are always able to unite around our core task to protect each other, to defend each other, and to stand together. Uh, when we see a uh, brutal violation of international law as we uh, now see in uh, Ukraine. Uh, and uh, 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 what we have done over the last weeks and months is to significantly increase our presence in the eastern part of the alliance, in the Baltic countries, uh, in Romania, in Poland. Uh, we have uh, increased the readiness of the NATO response force, we have activated the NATO defense plan so we can more easily move troops uh, throughout Europe uh, and also further reinforce our presence in the East. And then NATO allies are also providing uh, significant support to Ukraine. Um, 
Uh, we are not part of the conflict, we will not be part of the conflict. Uh, uh, NATO will not be on the ground uh, with forces, soldiers uh, in Ukraine and will not be uh, in the airspace of Ukraine. But we support the Ukrainian government and we support them with uh, military aid, but also uh, allies also provide humanitarian uh, support and financial support. Thank you so much, Prime Minister. Uh, are you hoping that uh, you will discuss with the uh, Secretary General to take further action against Russia? I think we are going to evaluate really the change that this might have uh, on the future of uh, NATO, uh, the strate strategic plans of NATO, uh, because obviously this invasion has really changed the security situation in Europe. Uh, in a very drastic way. So I think we are going to talk really about the effects uh, of these events in Ukraine on the alliance. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.